Sri Lanka is Asia's oldest democracy and was one of the most promising nations in the world. However, what we are now experiencing is a far cry from our actual potential. A group of young people have now banded together on the singular vision of creating a united, prosperous, just and thriving nation that will be a model to the world of incredible national transformation. This is a centenary movement which through its centenary academy is creating this generation of young leaders who will drive this once thriving, prosperous nation forward. On the 4th of February this year, the Centenary Academy passed out its first batch of 54 young leaders and one of them is here with me today, Navam Hapangama. Navam, welcome to Selling for Life Let's Talk and congratulations on your achievement of being one of those 54 graduates. Now, you have a passion for business development and an intrinsic obsession to finding ways to constantly improve things. What do you think needs to be done to be fixed in Sri Lanka today so your generation can move forward? It starts with things as basic as education and economic and healthcare reform, uh, things like environmental conservation and uh, women's rights to more complex, uh, more complex uh, issues such as uh, diversity and inclusion and even post-conflict resolution, which we have failed at since the end of the civil war. Um, but all of this can only happen once we have a set of leaders who are competent, who are compassionate and who have a clear vision for the country. And where do we start? <laughs> Basically, right at the grassroots level, where all these issues that I mentioned are a matter of a daily struggle for survival. Um, so it has to start right at the bottom. And mind you, this is, um, these are not, uh, this is, about changing 74 years worth of systemic damage that we are trying to reverse. What do you think of our Sri Lanka's international relations given that one of your interests is international relations? Regardless of which government seems to come into power, it seems that we seem to sway either side even though we are officially a non-aligned nation. Uh, but um, the, what, what I have found common throughout uh, any government that comes into power is the fact that uh, there is no um, they haven't acted on the cordial or the uh, good relationships that we do maintain with our neighbors even in the immediate vicinity and then even beyond in the other continents but uh, we haven't really transformed those relationships into uh, we haven't taken action on those relationships that would make them um, um, viable for our national interests so what are the key elements required in national leadership for sustainable economic progress of this nation um, like I mentioned earlier, it's just about being compassionate because there are a lot of people who uh, share alternate realities to the mainstream and they need to be taken care of. So it has to be a leader who's compassionate, who's empathetic towards all different problems that the people face. Then leadership also needs to have a very clear vision of what they want for the country. So what would be your vision for Sri Lanka by the time we reach our centenary of independence? For me, it would be to be led by competent leadership into becoming a regional powerhouse. I sincerely believe Sri Lanka has the potential to become a regional powerhouse and to become the gold standard, let's say, for socio-economic progress in the region and maybe even in the world. And do you see that happening? There's a lot of hard work in front of us if we want to get that done. Uh, but yes, there is definitely the potential. There's a very strong movement, especially within the youth, to make change. And like I mentioned earlier, it's about reversing 74 years of systemic damage. So it's not, and we, so we have to be understanding that uh, it's not going to happen overnight. There's a lot of work in front of us. Well, nothing is impossible. Let's hope your vision for Sri Lanka to be a regional powerhouse and a model for the rest of the world works out. If you enjoy our show, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. World of risks and obstacles, we are there to help you reach your goals. With 12 billion rupees worth of customer benefits in 2020 and a life insurance fund worth over 100 billion rupees, our strength is your strength. You focus on your goals, we will take care of the risks. Selinko Life.